Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 4th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms. In yesterday's video, we were talking about the large plasma filaments in the northern hemisphere. One of them lifted away in an accelerated fashion. So a large CME taking off from our sun from that plasma filament. Still observing some pretty active regions cresting to an incoming view. Getting ready for an Earth-facing party. We're already expecting at least a G1 geomagnetic storm starting tomorrow and in, into the 7th and possibly extended now to the 9th with this incoming possible CME. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing imagery there. Looking at multi-spectrum, there is that large plasma filament that lifted away. As well, very active cresting region there, and in the northwest, it seems. Looking at the last imagery here of our sun from Solar Dynamics Observatory, showing a coronal holes. Those are the darkened regions, and we only have one in the northern hemisphere and one in the southern. Other than that, we've got a pretty active surface. Looking at a real-time solar wind, 293 kilometers per second. We're going way down now after being hit by that coronal hole wind stream. Looking at LASCO 2 and 3, showing that solar blast taking off from the sun from that plasma rip. So that was a large plasma rope that was laying across the surface of the sun that ripped away. And as I said, in an accelerated fashion, that's a fast-moving CME. Luckily, it is in an outward fashion and upward. Looking at the ISPA space prediction spiral, it is showing that small CME and giving us a possible glancing blow. But I think, if anything, it will be above us. We'll see. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 16. Now, something I'd like to tie in together here, it kind of seems that when the Schumann resonance is energetic and up in the 40s and the 50s. We're being hit by a coronal hole wind stream. Very interesting indeed. Power of 16. Having a look here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, busy day on the planet. Started with a large 6.4 here in Macquarie Island, south of Australia today. And as well, following that, right around the same time, a 6.2 in Nefu, Tonga, 237 kilometer depth. Three very deep earthquakes through the Tonga region today, and this was to be expected. This was forecasted from last night's video. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. I forecasted these large earthquakes that were going to happen today. 4.4 is there. Taiwan, south of Taiwan, right in between Taiwan and the Philippines. Japan with a 4.6 there. Uzul Islands. Not much to report there. Hawaii. Not much has changed to Alaska. Still seeing minor activity. Largest today was the 3.0 and as well a 4.4, or sorry, 4.1 through Alaska. Looking across the North American plate, no major changes, no swarms to talk about, and no notable earthquakes except for Kansas. Still got the White City, New Mexico swarm going on. 2.5 there reported Oklahoma. And as well, Gypsum, Kansas, reporting a 3.0 today, 5-kilometer depth. Gulf of California seeing a 4.2 and a 4.6. 10-kilometer depth for both of them. Caribbean Plate. Pretty sizable 3.9 here in the Virgin Islands. Charlotte Amelie in the Virgin Islands as well. Sizable 3.9 here reported Dominican Republic. Looking over South America, 4.5 there in Tisco, Peru, 142 kilometer depth, 4.1 here in Bolivia, pretty deep, 255 kilometer depth, and as well, Talcahonca, Chile. Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands, 5.6, and as well a 4.8 north 
of the South Sandwich Islands. So busy day across the planet. Even seeing more activity here through Greece, Crete, Greece with the 4.2, Turkey with the 4.3 from yesterday. As well, there was a 4.4, Kuwait, and a 4.4 there, Iran. Indian plate up into China, Kashgar, China, Tajikistan, and Afghanistan. All seeing some rumbles. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. As forecasted here with Daily Dew, a couple pretty sizable earthquakes today. Expect more in this long space weather weekend. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Sangay in Ecuador, Reventador in Ecuador, Manam, Papua New Guinea, Sabancaya in Peru, Dokono in Indonesia, Swiss in Ajima in Japan, Popocatito in Mexico, Semeru, Indonesia, Devaras de Ruiz, Colombia, Etna in Italy. So that's about eight volcanoes getting updated just, just today amongst the 52 that are active and erupting. If you haven't seen the latest volcano and planetary report, please check it out. Link is right here. Having a look here, satellite imagery across the world, still huge low pressure system in the, Ala in the Atlantic Ocean. And now that large low in the Pacific is fueling in another large low right across into BC and Alberta watching for flood alerts over the next few days. Heads up BC, the rain train is on its way to you. Coming from China. And as well, some pretty cold temperatures for Australia, as reported here. We'll give you a quick weather forecast here, brought to you by Venture Sky. just after a quick look at the satellite imagery. Some systems developing all across Europe and Russia right now as well. Huge low in the Atlantic. Crazy stuff. Okay, so let's get into a quick forecast here, having a look at tropical cyclone did not turn into a hurricane. So it is still just a subtropical storm. A cyclone has already penetrated the Florida Peninsula and is heading up the eastern seaboard of the Atlantic. At the same time, you've got a Colorado low coming out Monday into Tuesday. So watch for extreme weather to break out across central and northeastern United States moving right up into Ontario as well. So that'll be our last little bit of a summer taste as the cooling trend is going to begin. We're going to see some pretty cool temperatures right across North America in the next week or so. Stay tuned. Give you a temperature graph across the world. Also observing here a possible tropical system here developing Ecuador, Nicaragua. low pressure center grinding up into there potentially has energy to turn into a cyclone overlooking europe you can see one two three systems are going to be penetrating over the next few days long waves of moisture spotty scattered showers but coastal regions you've got some large systems heading towards you united kingdom finland sweden as well russia some pretty sizable systems overlooking Southeast Asia, Malaysia, monsoon rains developing and increasing over the next little bit. And as well, a big strong system heading into Australia and look at this rain train heading into BC. Interesting jet stream we've got right now. That's for sure. I ain't seen nothing like it. And here's a quick look at the temperature graph across the world. And forecast for the next few days as we've got upper 20s, possible 30s for the Gulf, and then it's going to disappear. We've got just, what, 10 degrees across northern Ontario, 4 degrees part in parts of Newfoundland in the long range, 0 degrees in the foothills in the long range. 
So the cooling trend begins, but then there is warmth in the end, as we are pretty close now to summer, getting ready for the summer solstice. And then we'll see things really ramp up. I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please smack that like button. Share with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.